Hi Scorpio, I am Letitia Bynum Hinton, astrologer and numerologist, and I'm here to uh, record your um, horoscope for the week of July, the 15th through July the 20th, and I apologize if you are cross-watching and you watched my earlier videos, you'll see that I was in front of the beach, but I had to come and get in the car so I could plug up my charger to record this video, okay? So let's get started. On Sunday, July the 15th, we have the continuation of the uh, opposition between the Sun and Pluto. And these are going to be affecting you in your money houses, okay? The houses that rule your resources and your income, the eighth and second houses, all right? And so what this is going to mean for you is that perhaps there needs to be a change in the way that you are... Um, going about getting resources um, earning income okay uh, are you so the question is so we have an opposition you feel that somebody is standing against you and your resources you feel that somebody is keeping you from getting the income that you should be earning okay and that's a feeling that comes along with this but with an opposition it's always a mirror it's a mirror to what uh, you are feeling so you are projecting onto yourself uh, Projecting onto another what you feel and someone else is projecting onto you. So with this There comes uh, a time where you have to ask yourself what part in this are you responsible for? And so you will see tying into this um, It's going to be this earth trine grand earth trine that we have and it's beautiful and This is between Venus Uranus and Saturn and it's going to be in Virgo in your uh, 10th house and uh, Uranus will be in Taurus in your 6th and then Saturn in your 2nd and all of these have to do with your money your career how you present yourself to the world so this is tying in to that energy of the opposition where it's such such has happened that you are asking yourself what do I need to do differently regarding my resources regarding money that's coming in maybe from alimony or child support or, or taxes or something like that and then your income that you are earning and then you have a feeling within yourself that you could do more and you feel empowered empowered within yourself to do something more to no longer feel that you have to sit at the whims of someone else and what they feel you should have but you decide within yourself I'm going to go get the thing that I want okay and this is showing up in a change in your daily activity it's showing up in a very grounded manifestation of income increase for you and it is showing up in a way that people are receiving you out in the world they're receiving this change that you are wanting to make and it's very beautiful for you and this, this beautiful energy continues on on Monday, July the 16th. We have Venus and the Moon conjunct in Virgo. And so, that, again, that's in your 10th house and how you are presented out into the world and how other people see you in the world. And so people will be so receptive to you. This is a beautiful time for you to go out talk to people about the career change that you want to make if you are going for an interview perfect time perfect time perfect time to go for an interview perfect time to go out and um, present the new business that you want to have just just step into it okay that's a perfect time for that to happen people will receive you very well on uh, Monday then on the 18th through the 20th we have some very challenging energies coming in to the moon, okay, for uh, Wednesday, Thursday, um, and through Saturday, okay? Okay? So, on the 20th, um, so on the 18th, we have the moon in Libra and uh, in your 11th house and that is the house of groups and recognition in the world and then we have a square to the moon in Saturn in Capricorn in your second house so this is going to be with the moon in the 11th with the groups this is going to be you feeling was well, the moon represents your feeling of comfort 
your feeling of safety, your feeling of being understood, uh, emotionally feeling good. And so when we have a square, especially to Saturn, there is a frustration. Whenever there is a square, there is a frustration um, in how you feel to the moon, to, to your emotions. So with Saturn sitting here, you are feeling like... Uh, the way that you are making income, the amount of income is not what you need uh, to be active in the, in the world that you want to be. If there Maybe there's a, a group that you want to join. Maybe there is a fraternity or sorority that you want to join or be a part of. Um, maybe there is a um, yeah, the groups that you want to join. And then you feel that your money is not what you need it to be to be able to pay the dues or the memberships to be in that group. Or maybe uh, to be in that group to maybe join the golf club, right? Or golf, uh, what's it called? Um, you know what I'm talking about. Not a golf, yeah, a club. Join the clubhouse that's more prestigious. But you don't have the income that you need to do that. Well, this is going to challenge you to uh, step out within yourself to change that so you can have what you want. So you can initiate the changes that you need so that you can get to the place that you want. Okay? Same thing on the next day. On the 19th, we have Pluto is in Capricorn in square to the moon. So again, you feel that there is an authority that is there that is blocking you from getting the income, blocking you from getting the promotion that you need so that you can live the life that you want, so that you can receive the accolades that you want. You know, uh, perhaps there is somebody else who, who gets the promotion, Moon Square Pluto, somebody else gets the promotion that you were supposed to have, that you thought you were supposed to receive, but they get it. And then when they got it, they got the promotion, they got the celebration, they get this, the, the accolades that you felt that you deserved. So that brings you a level of frustration and you feel that they're standing against you. But again, within yourself, there are changes that you need to make so that you can move your life in the direction that you want it to, to go in. Okay? And then finally, on the 20th, we have the moon uh, moving into the sign of Scorpio. And this is going to be in your 12th house. Okay, let that noise pass. The moon moving into the sign of Scorpio on the 20th will be opposite Uranus. Okay, so this has to do with your daily activity. Sudden change coming to your daily activity. The job that you've been working on may change. You know, you may decide, I'm out. <coughs> Excuse me. You may decide, I'm out, I'm not doing this anymore. <clears throat> or you may get terminated. This is something that could happen, but you don't have to be afraid because life happens, right? Things happen, but we, whatever is going on, we, we must know, and you must know, and I must know that the universe, the universe is conspiring to bless you at all times, no matter what, okay? This is a change that could happen, but it's going to happen for your greatest good. The moon will be square to Mars, okay? So this is you feeling that um, your siblings don't fully understand you. You feeling that um, they don't understand how you want to move and the things that you want to do. Those who are really close to you. You feel that they uh, don't, don't get you and the actions that you want to take, okay? And then... But you have to come to a place of peace of mind. Come to a place of peace of mind. And you will. Once this, um, once the moon moves. The good thing about the moon. But even though these hard aspects are here for these uh, three days. The moon stays in a sign two and a half days. And then she moves very quickly. So with that, you don't have to feel that... Um, this is going to be something that lasts a really long time because it won't. Okay? So that's the beautiful thing about all of this is that, you know, the changes um, that are coming in, they are challenging, but they are here 
for your greatest good so that you can grow into the place that you need to Sagittarius so that you can become um, the strong man and woman that you came here to be my name is Leticia Hinton this is all that I have for you this week please subscribe to my channel like my videos leave comments I want to hear what you have to say um, you can find me at LeticiaBonhamHinton.com um, if you would like to have a personal reading from me I can do that for you I would be glad to do that for you you can find me on Facebook Instagram and Twitter okay again remember the universe is conspiring to bless you at all times at all times okay I love you and I will talk to you later have a good week